So we've just come outside for sunset and oh my goodness. First Fijian sunset. I'm in love. Amazing. The snorkeling in Fiji is even better than what I expected. So for us to gracefully use their waterfall, we actually went and purchased some kava root. And today, our goal is to relax. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome to Fiji. If you've only just tuned in, yesterday we jumped on the tiniest plane. There was literally five passengers. This is such a small flight. It's tiny. <laughs> and we flew from Nadi all the way to Savu Savu. Most scenic flight ever. There we landed at the smallest, tiniest shack. I wouldn't even think it's an airport if I was driving past. But there we were picked up by our hotel, taken all the way to Khorasan, where we'll be staying for the next three nights, and had the best Fijian greeting ever. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, our first coconut. <laughs> Just arrived at our resort and um, this one has been given her first of many coconuts. <laughs> and she's getting a little welcome foot massage. <laughs> and then we arrived at our amazing overwater villa. So this resort has both jungle and water villas and we are staying in one of their water villas. Can't wait to show you around. This is seriously such a nice place, like honestly. Look at this. So we're staying in EPB2. We're in pool, with right in the front of our room. A little bridge to get across into our room. Welcome to our home for the next three nights. All right, come on in. So this is our villa and it is an overwater villa. So we're currently on top of the water. We have an amazing bathtub, a huge bed, but I think the best bit is over here. Look at this view. I feel like if you look at this villa, you can kind of see how we're right on top of the water and we have a ladder that takes us down. So I guess every morning we can wake up and go straight in the ocean. Walk, literally walk straight out of our bed, come outside and jump in there. But now that the plane rides have all ended, we can officially say that our Fiji holiday has begun. And today our goal is to relax. So we've just come outside for sunset and oh my goodness. Our first Fijian sunset. I'm in love. Amazing. Look at this with the sun coming through the palm trees just in the little lagoon over here. I saw people kayaking before. I was like, we have to rent kayaks one day. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's like they have this on the other side of the villa. So our villa kind of faces outwards and then if you're facing inwards, there's this lagoon and I guess it's sheltered from the wind. You just look at that water. Look how flat it's like it is. flat, even on like a bit of a windy day. So we've just discovered the best kept little secret they have, an infinity pool. It is currently sunset. Oh my goodness. The reef here is amazing. I feel like it is so extra colourful. So many fish. Seriously, after yesterday's chaos, this has been the most relaxing day ever. I mean, wow. Look at that. So funny, the last time I jumped in a pool, you guys were with us in Canada and there was snow everywhere. <laughs> How different does this look? Got a little swimming buddy just in here. There's a little crab man in there. Hey, buddy. Days of a brand new start. Came Good morning, Fiji. In perfect time and measure. So the relaxing is continuing. I'm off to have a prenatal massage and I actually haven't had a massage since I got pregnant. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. And also I think our baby might be jet lagged. Usually I feel her in the nighttime and in the morning, but lately I've been feeling her at 2 a.m. and at lunchtime. And that's basically night and morning in Perth, right? Yeah, so, so she's having I a sleep in. Thought. I'm like, yeah, can babies in the womb have jet lag? Well, I wake up at weird times and then I was also saying to Stephen last night it was 2 a.m. and she was like kicking like crazy and it woke me up and I said to Stephen how happy are you right now at this moment that the baby's inside and not on the outside because right now we would definitely be up with a jet lagged little newborn <laughs> your uber's arrived to the spa 
so much. Bye. Wow, this looks nice. That was like a fun little touch to get you out to the spa. It's like in the jungle. It's funny, we literally just got dropped off in the middle of the rainforest and we can't even see the building yet. <laughs> he was just like, all right, bye. <laughs> see ya. Are you already feeling relaxed with all the sounds? This is so pretty. We're like a good half an hour walk away from the main room. Yeah. Ah, thank you so much. That looks great. Thank you. Cheers, Bobs. Cheers. Perfect way to spend the afternoon. Mm -hmm. How was oh your massage? Gosh. Oh my gosh, it was so relaxing. And this is the first time I've been in the water. It is amazing. It's so nice and just chill. Yes. <laughs> with those views with the infinity pool. I think this is where we're going to hang out for the rest of the afternoon. Yep, this is my plan for the day. Guys, it is Australia Day, so they've actually put on an Aussie barbecue for lunch. So we're gonna head there now, and we had to represent. So I'm wearing the gold, and Stephen, he's got the green. Oh my goodness, look at this view we have for lunch. We've got a bunch of pasta salad, potato salad, fresh fish straight off the barbecue, and the best bit, Lamingtons. These are an Australian dessert and if you haven't had them before they're basically kind of like sponge cake rolled in chocolate and coconut and they're one of our favorite desserts when we saw that we got excited so and we haven't had those for ages. Ages, so ages. good. Ages, oh my god. Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. This is the perfect meal in paradise. Uh -huh. Cold salads and some fish. I quickly snuck out the room. Yesterday was all about relaxing. Today a little bit of adventure. So I've gone and grabbed a double kayak and I'm gonna go sneak up on Jess, see what she's up to. I was wondering where you went. <laughs> Your Uber has arrived. I'm coming in. Today is all about adventure. I may still be too full from the Lamingtons. That's right, because I, um... <laughs> oh good, there's only one paddle, oh, perfect. Anyway. So, um... I was meant to take Jess out on an adventure, but... I've taken over the Uber. I wanted to go. <laughs> it's so nice because this resort has a lagoon, so it means that the water is so flat, so it is so easy to do water sports. You could easily do kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding. There's like really nothing in your way. Also, can we just look at that view behind you right now? Look good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like so thankful we could stay here. I mean... Awesome. Seriously. <laughs> Wow, bucket list Fiji right there. So this is the little lagoon, sheltered by the wind. As you can see, like even, even the waves has kind of like disappeared a little bit. So, the sun has just set. We've kind of just been chilling out here on our little balcony. I love having balconies outside like this. It is so nice, but for dinner tonight, they're actually putting on a seafood dinner. So I think there is one very traditional Fijian meal that Stephen has been wanting to try, and I have a feeling that they may serve it at this restaurant, so you're gonna finally try it. Yeah, that sounds good. Guys, he's finally having his kokonda. Look at how they presented that. It's, it's inside like, a coconut, I'm pretty look sure. At this. It has like lobster um, antennae, <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty much Fijian like ceviche, which when we were in Peru, it was like my favorite dish and I'm pretty sure we live off it for like two whole weeks and I haven't had it since then. Oh, this just looks so good. So it's basically like raw fish with lemon juice on it and that's what cooks it. Yeah, and there's like some tomatoes, some like red onion in there. And I think cucumber. the way it makes it for Jean is there's a bit of, maybe it's coconut cream or coconut milk. Alright. Does it taste the same as the one in Peru? Mm -mm, it doesn't, it's the coconut milk. Wow. Yum. Seriously, that was delicious, and I think I'm gonna try it at every place we stay at. What have you ordered? Oh my goodness, I think I've ordered the entire ocean. You ordered a lobster and they delivered. <laughs> Good morning to you, fishies. 
Refreshing way to start the morning and wake you up. All right, where is he? Morning. I heard you do your little wahoo. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Just jumped on the little speedboat here at the resort and we're heading out towards the reef. Hopefully we see some good coral and some good fishes. Maybe a turtle. So we've just been dropped off at Turtle Alley. The locals quoted the name because apparently there's a lot of turtles that come through here. So that's the goal for today's snorkel. The reef here is amazing. I feel like it is so extra colorful. So many fish. The snorkeling in Fiji is even better than what I expected. We actually took a little boat right out onto the reef and they took us, what is it, like five minute boat ride away to a reef wall. So it was a wall covered in coral, fish everywhere. And because the water is so shallow, everything comes up so colorful. So the reef, and the fish was super colorful. And now I feel like this always happens when we do like a water activity. You always like over order your lunch. Oh. So we've got like, so we've ordered rice paper rolls, salt and pepper calamari, chips, and fish tacos. We over ordered. We're, we're gonna finish it though, I already know. <laughs> 50th um, anniversaries. Oh, nice. We present, I want you to sit. First, just yep. walk up to the lady, I'll ask, tell you where. Okay. Sit down, get comfortable. Okay. Clap. Once. And then you present. Oh, that way. That way. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Hola. Hola. Nice to meet you. So this afternoon we're actually heading out to a local waterfall. It's about a 40 minute drive out from the resort. So we've come into the countryside of the island and the actual waterfall is on the property of one of the local Fijian tribes. So for us to gracefully use their waterfall, we actually went and purchased some kava root, which actually takes place in one of their traditional Fijian ceremonies. And then with the actual kava, we went and presented it to the elders as like a, please let's go and see the waterfall. They accepted it just presented it to them. And then we're just walking around the kind of local villages. Super interesting to see just how they all live. Now they've allowed us to go and see the waterfall. So we're going on a little bit of a hike to go and see some fresh nature here in Fiji. This is the most important log here in the village. Once a week, the elders will bang this to make a noise to call everyone for church. No kids are allowed to touch this except for December 31st. And they all just come and bang it on to bring in the new year. from the village has taken us to the waterfall and I think he might want to want to show us him jumping in. <laughs> Honestly, Fiji is <laughs> so beautiful. Just look at these views, guys. You always feel like you're walking around in Jurassic Park a little bit. 
how nice is this kind of view up here on the hill of the entire island. Our resort we were staying is like around there. So we drove all around here, up here, to get to the waterfall. You are my easy love. You, you make love. Well, done. I've just been relaxing. As you can tell, I'm seriously still in my still in my togs. Aw, Steve! <laughs> well, Jess was relaxing and it's kind of like our final night here at the resort. And because it's uh, our baby moon... He set up dinner! <laughs> at your a private dinner? I think it... Well, Steve, I hope so. you should have told me. I'm like, not even... I could have got dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the little private dinner I've organised for you. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, look at the view. Does it pick up on camera? I think it does, yeah, like it looks looking good. looking out at the... At the sea. At pretty much your favourite hangout place where you've been the this entire time. That's where I get my favourite coconuts from. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered Jess her favourite meal. Noki. <laughs> and it looks amazing. Good work, Steve. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode here in Fiji. We have a couple of more we're thinking of doing for you. So we've just arrived at the airport. We're flying somewhere new. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.